I'm Bobby Sampson Jr. Welcome to my channel, Life Through Lotus. This workout is the five by five workout, maximum effort. So choose three compound exercises and choose the hardest variation of them. And you wanna choose exercises that mostly hit the global muscle groups or the muscle groups that's usually seen versus the local muscle groups. With the local muscle groups, you primarily want to uh, not go full maximum effort with those because you really, really want to take your time and really focus on them. I was taking my time doing this, but the point of this one is if you're running short on time, then five by five, five reps, five sets, maximum effort on each rep. You want to like go until close to failure. So by the fifth set, you should be feeling like, man, this is really tough. And so <clears throat> I chose to pull up and skin the cat in the pistol squat. And I just did different variations. So I just didn't do like a, a, the regular pull up. I did chest to bar, or uh, it was a little bit of arch back, but it, you know, it was like mostly arch back. I was going for a thoracic extension right there. And then I just uh, skin the cat, uh, tucked a little bit to advance, tucked a little bit. And here I'm doing pistol squat. So pistol squat is a hard variation, but not really the hardest variation. It's a basic front and middle. So with calisthenics, you got you do have basic exercises, but with each move itself, there's a basic move. So with the pistol squat, is the pistol squat can be a move all on its own outside of the squat because the squat itself is a bilateral, while the pistol squat is a unilateral. So you have a tons of unilateral uh, leg exercises and arm exercises. Then you have tons of uh, bilateral uh, leg and arm exercises. So, if you don't even want to like do the progressions from like the regular squat to archer squat to narrow squat, then to pistol squat, you can just straight up start working on the pistol squat by just doing lunges or shrimp squats or a uh, figure four pose. Right here, I'm uh, trying to demonstrate to you where you want the hips and the pelvis at when you squat. So you want the hips driving forward for a full hip extension and you want the pelvis tilted backwards. This is something very new, some new information I'm just now reading about and learning about and really discovering in my own body. So the hips sit below the pelvis. They like attach right underneath the pelvis into the hip socket right there. And the pelvis actually is above the top part of the pelvis, is above the hips. So you can tilt the pelvis backwards without getting full hip extension and that's where people get short hip flexors from from over tucking a lot of the times and so to prevent you from over tucking and keeping a neutral spine and having your glutes engaged and keeping from having lower doses or sway back you want to tilt the pelvis backwards but also have hip extension you get hip extension by kind of driving the hips forward or or putting your hands where i had them in the video and kind of like feel where the hips are and just go down and just like go down or get into a bridge and, and do that as well. And so it's a good way to see like, are you using the right muscles? Are you using your hamstrings primarily? If you're using your hamstrings primarily, then you, most likely you're gonna end up with sway back or lower doses or have low back pain. And so with that you want to really pay attention to using your glutes, your booty, your bum, your hump. You really want to pay attention to using your glutes. And a good way to test are you, are you actually using your glutes or are you using your hamstrings is to get into a bridge position and do a single leg bridge. And if one hip drops down, then you're probably not using your um, glutes. So you may be doing a lot of deadlifts, you may be doing a lot of squats, but you're probably using your hamstrings primarily when you need to use your glutes. Your glutes are responsible for extending the whole body up and down. So they have three three things the, the glutes are responsible for primarily, or three dimensions they uh, work in. So that is a good way to test it, doing a, a single leg bridge. And then there's some other ways you can test it too, but you can check out uh, Jeff Cavalier, Appling X, dot com or Jeff Cavalier Acne X YouTube uh, video his channel is amazing content on there I say calisthenics movement and Acne X has the best fitness on YouTube best fitness on YouTube and if you also want to check out some other workouts you can check out Vita 
uh, Lasso. I'll put her stuff. I'll put her video link to her video in the description below. But yeah, check out those channels too. Some great information on there, as well as mine. Thanks for watching, and remember, you are loved. Have a great day or night. No.